Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are playing with an item that you guys have been tweeting me and I was mystified by. It is a jelly ball of cleanser that you rub on your face. You're gonna rub this ball all over your face. It's gonna take off your makeup. It's gonna remove impurities. It's gonna cleanse. It looks really squishy. I'm excited to get my hands on this and just kind of like play with it. This is the Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. Now this has different ingredients that are going to really purify the skin. I immediately thought that this would only be suitable for oily skin, acne prone skin, because it is a charcoal cleanser. But I was reading online that this is appropriate for all skin types. They say normal, oily, combo, dry, and sensitive. It does say it contains activated bamboo charcoal, which is going to absorb pore clogging impurities. That's great, I love that. Let's open the box, which is actually the first direction. It actually says open box. We can do that. That actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> you have to take this little pokey thing and you are going to poke. <gasps> You're gonna poke right, that scared me. You're gonna poke right through here and puncture your jelly ball, which seems really mean. I don't wanna hurt you and have you explode everywhere. And I am really fearing that I'm sitting down to do this video and I'm gonna poke it and the whole thing's just gonna be like, <sighs> you know, that could happen. But it does say puncture jelly ball in plastic encasement from seal covered hole at the top. Let's all think positive thoughts together. Oh my God. Oh wow, okay, we're in. I poked a hole in it. And now we can get rid of that. And we can get in here. So basically, there's nothing that magical about it. It's cleanser in what looks like a condom and I poked a hole in it. There's gonna be some interesting DIYs on the internet. I am just placing my bets right now. I'm just gonna call it because this is literally a latex encasement that is tied like a water balloon and I just poked a hole in it and I'm gonna kind of squeeze out a little cleanser and then rub this on my face. It does smell really nice and charcoaly and almost medicinal, kind of like it's really gonna do something good for my skin. So that's cool, but how weird. I didn't realize it had this like plasticky thing like in all the videos that you see online, you don't see that this looks very handmade and like, well, let me stick some cleanser in here and tie it up like a balloon. Okay, so I'm gonna wet this now in my giant bowl of water that I have placed in front of me because I'm prepared. And I am going to squeeze out a little cleanser. It doesn't say to do that, it just says to like rub it on your face. So I don't feel like much cleanser is coming out, you know? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do or not. I really don't. Shoot, directions. Did anyone just see what happened? Help, please. Using prick, punctured jelly in plastic encasement from seal covered hole at top of the ball. Oh, okay. So my pricking the ball was actually supposed to break the balloon. So, okay, oh, this just got really cool. Now I like it. I get it, ha ha ha. I thought it was actually like liquid in the balloon, but I was wrong. I was so wrong. Oh my God, this is amazing. Let's start to massage the skin. Forget what I was gonna say. There will be no DIY on this. There will be nothing of that sort. This is really cool. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna do like the video where the girl does half of her face. You know, we're gonna see how well this removes my makeup. I'm massaging my face with a ball. Ew, I make myself cringe. It does say you can apply this directly to the face the way that I'm doing this, or it does say that you can kind of like get product on your hands by getting the ball wet and then just go in with your fingertips if you prefer. This is pretty bomb though. I really like it. Ooh, and with your fingertips, it's foaming up like so much more. It smells fresh. It feels really... Ow, it stinks. Filming these videos sometimes, like talking to the camera, thinking about what I'm doing instead of just watching 
watching. Instead of just washing my face, hazardous. It's actually not stinging my eye though. Not bad, you know? Oh my God, it's like the power of makeup right before your eyes. Look at how not tan I am. So that wasn't even a full rinse at the sink, which I am gonna do after I'm done demoing this. I just wanted to do as much in front of the camera as I could, but I do wanna test a white piece of cotton to see. Oh my God, you guys, what the fuck? <gasps> do you see that? Normally there's crap left behind. There is no foundation left on my face. What? And I was wearing a lot of makeup. I was trying things out this morning. I had a lot just like pressed in there, spackled on there, heavy, heavy stuff. That is amazing. No way. I kind of love that. Oh my gosh. Jingle, 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 jingle. Look at that, isn't that weird? And now I'm gonna finish up the other side of my face. I'm not even exaggerating, you guys. It actually feels really nice. What is that? A piece of balloon on my face? Really? Yuck. <laughs> it's funny too, because when you put that on your face, like a lot of the gel from the ball gets on your skin. It's weird how it kind of liquefies. Like you wouldn't think that much of it would get on there, but a lot does. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go properly rinse my face. I have a bathroom over here with a sink. I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. No freaking way. This even took off my mascara. Like, are you joking me right now? What? Do we see that? Okay, so at the sink, I was able to really kind of get into scrubbing my eyes a little bit, getting that mascara off of there, which I was wearing my favorite. Lash Paradise. I'm gonna talk about this mascara so much that L'Oreal is gonna want to hire me because they're not paying me to say anything. And I didn't even get that for free. Clean. I'm impressed. I am so, so impressed. I actually thought this was gonna be very gimmicky because it is a gel ball of cleanser and I didn't think it would foam up so much. I thought it would be really strange to use and it's actually really comfortable to use. It's fun to use. It feels like squishy and fun. It smells nice. It doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped or really tight which is interesting because for something that removed makeup this well, usually my face feels really, really tight. So I think it is true that sensitive and dry skin could use this as well. I still personally don't think dry skin, sensitive skin should be using activated charcoal every single day. It just seems like removing all those impurities, that ingredient usually can be a little bit drying. So that's just me. I'm gonna kind of see how it goes. And I play detective with my skin all the time and I use different products depending on where my skin is at, depending on the time of the month, how oily I am and all of that stuff. But I'm gonna keep using this. It's really, really cool. So they say to just keep the plastic bit, rinse it off and then just kind of keep it in its little home on your counter to let it dry off. And you can use it twice a day. This is amazing. This was a really big success. This is not sponsored. Um, <laughs> I actually thought it would kind of be not that great. I thought it would be just more fun to use, but the product itself is really good. All right, Tati approved. I'm into it. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you found this fun to watch, please hit that like button. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Leave me comments below, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.